Hi, my name is Bridget Eniola Olufemi. I'm a singer, songwriter, a jazz enthusiast, and a very happy person. I've always been surrounded by music um, from childhood. My parents are music lovers, yes. And um, I was also a church girl in the choir too, so a lot of that's where I have were factors that influenced my or that inspired me to decide to start making music um that is um afro fusion yeah afro and jazz fusion because i mix a lot of jazz elements with the indigenous sound like especially from where i'm from yoruba girl so i mix the yoruba sound along with jazz elements to bring out something so i call it afro jazz fusion yes it's very long uh i first of all have to like uh, be in a calm in a calm state of mind first before i'm able to first of all get the tune and then um, it takes me it takes me a while to you know pen down my lyrics because I pen down what what is relatable to not just me as a young lady but to everybody in the community or in the society yes so that it can be relatable when it comes out and then you know you have to get um, the musicians to come together to put it together so it takes a, quite a process but at the end of the day something beautiful always comes out. I have a number of persons, but the person I will most, most likely want to collaborate with is Laura Mvula. Yes, she's a UK singer-songwriter. She's amazing. And I love her. I love where she writes her lyrics from. I love how she, how she coins her words into lyrics. So she's one person I would like to work with most, first and foremost, yes. Okay, to my fans, don't stop believing in me. I'm working and I'm gonna give you, um, I'm preparing something. So it's just like when the food is on the fire now. So we're still putting those ingredients. So when we finish and we've allowed it to simmer, mm -hmm, you're gonna get something from me. Yes. Okay, do I sing in the shower? Ah, I didn't release the album for shower. <laughs> My parents complain. Hey, especially when I'm at home. Once you enter, once I get into the bathroom, maybe like one or two hours because all the songs come. Native, Igbo, worship, jazz, country. We'll finish it, we'll run it down there. We'll produce, mix, and master inside our bedroom before we come outside. That's how it is. I sing in the bathroom a lot. <laughs> Should I say this? I'll be a rich man's wife. <laughs> okay, on a more serious note, what would I be doing if it wasn't for music? I probably would be acting. Yes, because I've always had the art in me, right from when I was a kid. I'm a very dramatic person, yes, so I probably would have been in the art like that. Or I'll, I'll feel the, you know, be doing fashion things. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So the top, the one top in the list right now is Father, Father by Laura Mvula. It's my favorite because it's very, very relatable to me. I sing that song and I feel it deep in my soul, yes. And then I have any song by Etta James that I know. <laughs> I dissect it. I spread it out. I chew on it and digest it, yeah.
So um, any song by Lauren Vula and um, Etta James, those are my most favorite. But the top of the list is Father, Father by Laura Mvula. I love Etta James. I love Laura Mvula. I love Ruth Brown. So these women are, they inspire me. When I see them, I kind of see myself. So when I perform, I, I pick their elements and fuse it into one. Yeah, like that. More music. That's what's next for me. More music. <laughs> 